There's a basket for Smaragda in the warehouse. She's waiting. What does it mean to be truly righteous? To never succumb to temptation, or to take a vow of chastity despite constant temptation? Our heroine did not know the answer to this question, and preferred never to dwell on it. If it were up to her, she would have chosen the quiet life of a nun. However, destiny had something different in store for her. Sorry, maybe I can help. You're the last person I need right now. Get lost. Sorry.
For the sake of the prayers of all the... Stesha, do you have something prepared for Smaragda? It's cold today, isn't it? <laughs> oh, potatoes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The sisters loved Indica. Christian love is known to be patient, merciful, and faithful. However, in a lowly human sense, they didn't love her that much. To be completely honest, they didn't love her at all. Many of them felt nothing but disgust for her. Indica, however, was not to blame. Were it not for the voice that was inculcating ideas in her, unforgivable for a Christian, she would have been a virtuous and rather mediocre nun. Indica's biggest dream was for that voice to leave her alone once and for all. Her entire life became a struggle, a painful resistance. No matter how hard she tried, no matter how much she tortured herself, the voice grew louder and more convincing every day. Forgive me. Forgive me. I should go. I, 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 I should go. I, I, I should go. Sorry. 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 Bring some water.
Useless labor is the basis of spiritual development. Obedience is above fasting or prayers. Indica didn't understand why she needed to retrieve the water from the well if there was a pump next door that took it from a sacred spring. She didn't understand why drinking from the spring was allowed, but cooking soup was a sin. The well was only about 15 meters away from the spring. It was not possible to have any other water there. Even a tenth of it is the same. They say, on Epiphany, even a drop of holy water blesses an entire canister. If that were true, a couple of evaporated drops from the spring would bless the puddles beneath her We haven't eaten even ten of them. With God's help, we'll make it to spring. No way. Sisters won't eat after her. Mother, the sign of the cross saves from the plague. But this, God forgive me. Glory to... 
Smaragda, don't tempt me. I'm sending Evdakia to you. Don't let this one into the refectory. O Son of God, accept me on this day as communicant of thy secret supper, for I shall not divulge thy mysteries to thy foes. I shall give thee no kiss akin to Judas, but as an outlaw shall I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May my communion of thy immaculate mysteries, O Lord, not be judged or condemned, but heal the body and soul. It is forbidden to leave the convent without a blessing. Despite her requests, Indica had not been blessed to leave for a full year. When she was tasked with delivering the letter, it took her completely by surprise. Even though she did not know the contents of that letter, she could not shake the feeling that it would play an extremely important, perhaps critical, role in her life. in it.
the sake of the prayers of all the saints, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Tisha, I need to go to the other side. Georgie, pirate, be quiet. The animals feel the unholiness. They're just happy to see me. Tisha, I'm sorry. The animals feel the unholiness. I brought you some apples. Or lovka, your favorite. Tisha, I must hurry to the train. <gasps> Tisha, what have you done? Your steps are all wet. You'll slip and fall again. Don't worry, Tichon, I understand. Forgive me, for Christ's sake. Well, has the key. Oh, what an imbecile. Indica loved Tihon. Imbecile was a medical diagnosis, so she was just using the word literally. In any case, Tihon couldn't hear her. Hypocrisy isn't really a virtue, is it?
It was as if the convent didn't want to let her go. Even though she knew there was no place closer to God, she yearned to leave it, at least for a short time. Not true! I think deep in this barren of good deeds, but I beseech thee, O Lord, pour out upon me a drop of thy mercy and cleanse me, for I am defiled by many sins, and I will praise thy name all of the days of my life. For as thou in thy deep wisdom hast had compassion on me, now I have come to thee, my Lord and God, a sinful and burdened one, not having the boldness to look up. Hygiene. All. And I thee as the protocol I have sinned before thee, O merciful Father. Receive me a penitent and make me as one of thy hired servants. I have recklessly forgotten thy glory, O Father, and among sinners I have scattered the riches which thou gavest me. Because of thy boundless mercy and compassion, I dare to approach thee, O Christ. Receive me as thou didst the publican, the protocol, and the harlot. And the fight is of the Lord, O just one. Thou hast received the gospel as a martyr. Thou art never turned away as the brother of God. Thou hast boldness as a hierarch. Thou canst intercede. Do thou intercede with Christ God that he may save our souls? O ineffable and unseen grace, for who can tell of thy mighty works? O Christ, or who can number the multitude of thy wonders? As of old thou didst raise up the paralytic, O Lord God, by thy godlike care and might, raise up my soul which is palsied by diverse sins and transgressions, and by unseen mute deeds and acts that save Apologizing, repenting, praying, apologizing, endless oaths that and was wounded, so have I also fallen through my sins, and my soul is wounded. Indica hated Smaragda's tasteless cabbage soup, the smell of rotting old women that even insects could not cover. Half of the sisters couldn't even read, even if the abbess walked. As of old thou didst raise up the paralytic, O Lord God, by thy godlike care and might, raise up my soul, which is palsied by diverse sins and transgressions, and by unseen mute deeds and acts, that saved I may cry out. Indica hated endless prayers that were repeated so much meaning. Because of thy boundless mercy and compassion, I dare to approach thee, O Christ. Receive me as thou didst the publican, the protocol, and the harlot. And now I cry to thee as the protocol I have sent. The humility, the fear of God, signing the cross over her mouth after every. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, what, what, what are you doing here? You. The cloisters is here! Huh. What, what, the nun is doing? fine. The conventual is here! The nun. But, listen, you're, you're lucky to b bump into me. I, I, I keep missing and I'm, I'm no g good at this. Just, what? Go, 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 go. Get out of here. What? What? I, Who's there?
feel lucky to bump into him. He's not a great shot. Yes. Sorry, I can help if you let me. No, I don't think it can be helped. His nobleness has decided to listen to the visitation one last time. So let him listen. Don't interrupt. Excuse me, what, what happened here? Oh. Have you heard the joke about a crowbar in a train toilet? So, there was this train with a bunch of convicts. They put a spring between two carriages while the train was moving. They tried to plan an escape, I guess. How many died? Mostly fugitives. Many of them were shot. Ever had to care for the sick? Me? Of course. We often have to. Then come with us to the station. All the wounded are there. at the station and then inject some corpse with morphine. Maybe out of respect for his dying wish, or for the size of his epaulets. What do you think?
stop. Lost your nerve, huh? Why do you stop me? Since when do you obey me? Don't worry. Fear is a natural reaction, life-saving in most cases. What is your goal? To help the girl or show what a hero you are? If you're trying to help, there's no chance. Calculating chances in a time like this. How low? <gasps> Listen to her. Doesn't like getting abandoned in the middle of an act. What? What? Did you see the size of that thing? Maybe you wanted to join them. <laughs> Not bad, I... <laughs> Didn't have enough, you motherfucker! Hold on. Wait! Quiet. Stop yelling. You've saved me. And I, I... I've saved someone too. Poor girl. A little more and she could have... Oh, Lord, Lord, have mercy on for us. And you didn't see. She got away. Well, well, I, did, I didn't... I don't know how much. But if it weren't for me... God deliver us sinners from... Sorry, w what is your name? Ilya. Indica. You know, they say that every hour that a patient doesn't get medical attention, their chance of survival is halved. Crazy thing to say, to be honest. It makes no sense to generalize like that. Do we include every case, even a pricked finger? Of course, the doctors say that... No idea where to take it or where it came from. Sister! Did you arrive safely? No incident? you is that you? Wait a second! Don't you dare! Right? Hey, you! Drop your weapon! D drop it! You drop your your weapon! No, no. <laughs> throw your rifle here! Don't turn, your, don't turn your conscience with sin. You're going nowhere, mate. All right? N -n -n Keep going. Yeah. Manage. Well, well, manage. I've got nothing to lose. Wait. Fine, just... Well, don't shoot, all right? Do it like this. Get, get on. Get on him. I'm telling you, go. Go. Get, get on. Get going! Get going! I'm telling you! Keep our work. Find him. Huh?
Hey. Are you wounded?
Why are you rushing so much? Sorry. We're doing no more than five verse an hour, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do you understand it, huh? Is he talking about the word versed, or how to start an engine? I grew up in a bike shop. My father sold them. In Spasov. Why in Spasov? No, in Godadishi. I've never been to Spasov. That's where I grew up. <laughs> the man's logic is flawless. Uh, are you embarrassed to be so close to a man? She's been waiting for that. He's quite a looker, huh? Thick boy. Ah, I must smell awful. No, they, they kept us in the train for three days. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> she likes it. Whoa! Oh. Pardon. Come on, come on! Grab her tits! Hey! Stop pretending! the men you imagine in your room when you're... Enough! All right, c calm down. But is he a bandit or a sissy? Hold on to your seat, for God's sake. Thank you. 